Okay, here we go. Good day from Pine Grove. Just check out these beautiful works of art all made by this lovely lady. This is Laura Lee of Feather Fantasies. Now, before we get to show you all of them, I need to show you this because this is insane. I asked Laura Lee how many feathers she has in her closet, I guess you could say. She, I said thousands. Not even close. She says millions. These are all like plastic Tupperware containers, all alphabetized or organized by the type they are. These ones are beautiful macaw, I think. Yeah, macaw wings. Um, a lot of these she gets actually has the animals, the birds themselves are molting. So she collects them over years to make beautiful pieces of art like the one you see right here on the shelf. Just take a look at that fish. All of these natural feathers. I came in and I thought they were fake and colored, but they're not. So I wanted to talk with Laura Lee. If you could uh, take a second. To, I know she's working on this beautiful piece right here. To talk about the variety of stuff that you do. So we have stuff set up all over the walls. Did it start with the mask? We're looking at this beautiful mask right here with the parrot. It started with earrings and hair clips, and then I moved into the masks. I started with um, plastic blanks and dyed feathers, and I quickly dropped that when I discovered natural colored feathers from pheasants and chickens and turkeys and parrots. How did this even start? How did you think that I could, that you could do a live or make a living from being a feather artist? I didn't know I could. It just evolved to be that. I just started playing with the feathers for fun, and it turned out that people wanted to purchase them. To my s surprise, <laughs> my first few masks sold for ten, fifteen dollars, and now I sell them for hundreds and even into the $1,000 range. And if you're wondering whether or not that's worth it, let's talk about how much time it takes to make some of these pieces. Like, check this one out. This is a mold of a very well, was it, developed male body. And look at all, these are all pheasant uh, feathers, wow. right? Pheasant. Really? Can you talk a little bit how long it took you to make something like this? It generally takes me months to make it, let alone years to collect the feathers. Yeah, can you guys hear that? Yeah. Years, because you can get them all at the same time. So we're going to, in the next segment, so you're seeing some of the pieces now. Look at this one too, also mm. very amazing. We get to a look, a sneak peek at a project that Laura Lee is working on now, and it's very, very interesting. Some really amazing uh, feathers that she's going to put on there, and we get to see how this process comes oh, together. Beautiful. So you want to stay tuned for that one. We will send it back over to you guys. Boy, they are stunning. We're just saying, uh, now it looks like it could be in a, a Vegas show <laughs> yeah, or Mardi Gras. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And speaking of unique, if musical instruments,